been out for a little while. But it's um always makes me feel a bit playful. My mum said that when I was little, if it was a full moon, I'd always be talking in my sleep. And uh, So it does kind of give me a kind of nervous energy. Two tripods and two light sticks in the, in the boot. And I've got two bags on the back seat. Got two cameras, four lenses, five batteries. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm well stocked up. Yeah. All eventualities. Hi, my name's Alex Bamford. I'm a creative, commercial and arts photographer. Um, much of my work is, is based around moonlight, um, which is kind of historical. From I used to work in, in London and commute every day, so uh, finding time for hobbies was kind of tricky, so sort of working on moonlight was, was quite a good way to get off the train and go and do some shots. The other nice thing about shooting by moonlight is that you're generally out in the landscape on your own. So it's, it's a very kind of calming and, and it's a slow, slow pace of working because the exposures are kind of six to eight minutes long. So you've got a lot of time kind of standing around and just looking at things and while you're waiting for the, for the camera to finish doing its work. Yeah, I started taking photos about 16 years ago. I was working in London at the time at an advertising agency um, and going out with the camera and taking photos was, was kind of like a remedy to, to working. I was working in the creative department so it was, it was all about coming up with ideas kind of constantly on the treadmill of, of uh, ideas that were much of the time they were ideas, we called them cannon fodder really for, for meetings. So they were, they're just being put up to show the client what they didn't want, um, which can be slightly soul-destroying over, over time. So uh, picking up a camera and coming up with my own ideas and going out and shooting them, I get the finished result, um, which is much less frustrating. I first started doing light paintings because I think I'd been shooting about two years of just doing moonlit landscapes and I felt they were kind of a little bit empty. I like, I like to have, well I prefer the landscapes that have kind of people in them that just kind of have given an idea of scale and, and, um, and they, partly because of the, the quality of the, the light, it's a bit cooler than, than, than sunlight. The landscapes can look a little bit kind of cold. So I thought introducing a bit of light into them in, in some some way, in a kind of playful way as well, would, would kind of just lighten them up, sort of literally and, and kind of figuratively. So I, I do my light painting using, using this. I've brought up on Blue Peter, so I, I kind of like using kind of homemade things. 
really. So this is uh, just an old plastic um, poster tube with some some push button on off lights from a pound shop. But and I've been using this, I think I've, this is my second of them, but for the last 14 years I think. So over two or three years I've shot uh, the West Pier in that same composition um, in snow, thunderstorms with lightning behind, um, my moonlight, sunrise, sunsets, long, long exposures, um, short exposures, all, you know, whole, whole range of black and white colour. Having lots of different projects on the go gives, gives me a kind of shortcut to having a different way of seeing. I suppose it's the whole, the whole point of photography, for me anyway. The pyjamas came about partly for the practical reason of, of you need white in the shot for, for anything to stand out. So the person needs to be wearing white of, of some something. So blue and white stripy pyjamas works out kind of well. And there's also a kind of logic to it that it's night time. So why shouldn't someone be in their pyjamas? And I, I just thought it'd be funny, really. That was kind of to start off with. Yeah, I mean, still the work I do for myself is the stuff that bring, brings me the most pleasure. And if I can frame it and, and sell it, and hopefully it'll bring pleasure to other people as well. You're still blinking, yeah. but, but that's the that's way. But yeah, quite a striking image, isn't it?